Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here with another topic of economics. Firstly, let's recall the general overview of economics. Economics is the social science that is concerned with production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. And uh, you all know that goods and services are all those things which we can utilize to fulfill our basic need. So today our main topic is elasticity of demand. If uh, you didn't take a look at my previous lecture, so I recommend you according to my uh, today's lecture, uh, you all people please uh, listen my a previous lecture which is uh, on the topic uh, law of demand and supply then you will have a clearest concept of uh, today's lecture elasticity of demand firstly let's know about uh, the term elasticity uh, in our daily lives we use the term elasticity uh, when we used a pulling force on that product it stretched out and uh, then comes back to its initial place and uh, it just had a temporary change to it but in economics we uh, use the term elasticity which is elasticity is a term used in economics to describe a change in the behavior of a buyers and sellers in response to a change in the price of goods or services in other words demand elasticity or inelasticity for a product or uh, good is determined by how much demand for the product change as the price increases or decreases and inelastic product is one that consumers continue to purchase even after a change the elasticity of a good or service can vary according to number of close substitute available its relative cost and the amount of time that has elapsed since the price change occurred all right so <clears throat> And this is the elasticity and the elasticity of demand the elasticity of demand or demand elasticity measures how demand respond to a change in the price or income it is commonly referred to as the price elasticity of demand because the price of a good or service is the most common economic factor used to measure it okay so <clears throat> Elasticity of demand is the rate of change in quantity demanded in response to change in prices. All right. So here is the definition: the elasticity for responsiveness of demand in a market is a greater or smaller according as the amount demanded increases much or little for a given fall in prices and diminishes much or little for a given rise in price. So. Here is the elasticity of demand which we learn in economics. All right, so here are some kinds of demand um, according to its elasticity. And the study of economic theory tells us that the demand for all goods is not equally elastic. It may be as under um, number one more elastic demand, number two less elastic demand, number three zero elasticity of demand. And um, we take our term it as uh, perfectly inelastic and uh, number four infinite elasticity and we take it as uh, um, perfectly elastic all right so let's take a uh, detailed overview of these all kinds of elasticity of demand with the graphical representation okay so here is the first kind of demand which is more elastic demand uh, a relative small change in the price resulting a big change in quantity demand for a good is known as more elastic demand good luxurious um, uh, for example color tv air conditioners costly cars etc and they fall in this category uh, more elastic demand curves falls slowly and becomes more flatter under and um, you all shown uh, on the screen a graph of um, a more elastic demand and uh, the graph is much flatter okay and uh, demand uh, demand curve is much flatter and the price of color tv in thousand um, uh, decreasing to time to time and uh, then quantity demanded of that product uh, color tv will increasing day by day okay so <clears throat> 
here is the second kind which is a less elastic demand a relatively large change in the price resulting a small change in the quantity demanded for a good is regarded as less elastic demand good basic need necessities for example flour ghee salt vegetables etc become under this category more elastic demand curve falls sharply downwardly and becomes steeper soon as under all right so here is the graph shown um demand curve is much steeper as than before so uh, the uh, prices of ghee as per kg is decreasing uh, with the time and then quantity of that product is quantity demanded of that product is decreasing all right so here is the graph which is uh, uh, more steeper okay so here is the third kind which is zero elasticity of demand perfectly inelastic when demand does not respond even a big change in price demand curve becomes vertical towards x axis so uh, in uh, this is elasticity of demand we uh, should um, say it that elasticity will be zero all right so uh, demand curve doesn't show uh, any change uh, any big change so uh, we will uh, draw a demand curve as the vertically straight line okay so um, uh, fourth kind is infinite elasticity and we termed is also as uh, perfectly elastic okay <clears throat> when demand goes on increasing uh, the same price demand curve becomes perfectly elastic and uh, parallel to x axis so here we can say that um, elasticity of demand uh, is infinite we cannot calculate it and we cannot uh, determine it as a uh, demand is zero or something else so we can take is that elasticity is um, infinite and we can draw a demand curve is horizontal straight line which is uh, parallel to the x axis okay so here is the overall graphical representation of all kinds of elasticity of demand in one graph so purple line shows demand is more elastic uh, very elastic yellow line shows demand is less elastic uh, very inelastic red line shows demand is zero elastic perfectly inelastic blue line shows demand is infinite elastic perfectly elastic and the gray one shows demand is unit elastic so here are the other concepts of elasticity of demand we learn in the economics and here is the first concept which is the income elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand is an economic measure of how responsive the quantity demanded for a good or service is to change in income The formula for calculating income elasticity of demand is the percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in income. Income elasticity of demand is a measure of how consumer demand changes when income changes. The formula for income elasticity of demand is percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in income. Plotting income elasticity of demand on a graph where income is on the x-axis and quantity is on the y-axis will render a line that has a unique slope according to the type of good. For instance, luxury items have a positive income elasticity of demand. On the graph, a luxury Luxury goods curve will slope upward from left to right, meaning as income increases, demand for those types of good increases. The steeper the slope, the more income elastic the good is said to be. Conversely, goods described as inferior goods have a downward sloping curve. This means that as income increases, demand for those types of goods decreases. Examples of inferior goods are public transportation and canned goods. Finally, some goods are immune from demand changes due to changes in income. These types of goods have a curve that is flat, meaning demand stays the same as income rises. These are usually consumer staples that people buy no matter what their income. Examples include soap and toilet paper. Businesses use income elasticity of demand to forecast sales and plan production for their products. 
Here is another concept of elasticity of demand which is cross elasticity of demand. The cross elasticity of demand is an economic concept that measures the responsiveness in the quantity demanded for one good when the price for the another good changes. Okay, the cross elasticity of demand for substitute good is always positive because the demand for one good increases when the price for the substitute good increases. Alternatively, the cross elasticity of demand for complementary goods is negative. Cross elasticity of demand measures the quantity demanded of one good in response to a change in price of another. If two goods can be substituted for one another, consumers will usually buy one when the price of another increases. For example, if the price of butter increases and everything else stays the same, the demand for margarine is likely to grow as consumers try a substitute. Calculate the cross elasticity of demand by taking the percentage of change in the quantity demanded of one good and dividing it by the percentage percentage of change in price of a substitute. Positive cross elasticity means that if the price of one good goes up, demand for another does too. With negative cross elasticity, an increase in the price of one good causes a drop in the demand for another. Complementary products demonstrate this concept. If the price of coffee increases and everything else stays the same, the quantity demanded for stir sticks will drop too. If the calculation yields a small value, then the two goods have little relation. Cross elasticity of demand really only applies in situations where the two products or services are related in some way. For instance, an increase in the price of shoes is likely to have little bearing on the demand for plastic cups. Okay, so here are the some factors which has the influencing effect on the elasticity of demand. And the following factors influence the elasticity of demand whether it is more or less elastic. And number one is nature of good. And the, the nature of good, different goods differ from each other. Does the elasticity of demand differ? For example, the elasticity and the elasticity of demand for necessities, for example, flour, ghee, salt, is less elastic because a greater change in the price results a very minor change in their demand. On the other hand, luxury, uh, costly cars, color TV, etc are more elastic goods because a little change in the price causes a greater change in their demand. Uh, perishable goods, vegetables, fruits, meat, etc. are less elastic goods with uh, while uh, durable goods, for example, motorbikes, sofa set, uh, wall clock, etc. are more elastic goods. Demand for such durable goods may be postponed for some time in a view a uh, rise in their price. Alright, so and the second one is price level uh, more spacious uh, goods for example diamond jewelry um, uh, mercedes cars etc are given goods uh, most inferior goods having a very low price uh, for example plastic shoes uh, clothes uh, are less elastic or inelastic good because a rise or fall in the price did not affect demand for richer or poorer Okay, so third one is the different uses of goods. Uh, a good having only one specific use is less elastic, but goods having many uses having more elastic demand. Uh, these good services may not be used for the less important pur uh, purposes if their price increases. For instance, uh, natural gas is used for household services, for example, heating, cooking, lighting, uh, etc and uh, in commercial purposes and uh, production purposes for industrial units and uh, power generating plants if uh, there is a quick and sudden rise in it price uh, it may not use for heating and lighting and uh, demand for gas is thus elastic for some uses and inelastic for other and the number four is substitute for the good um, availability of a close substitute of a good in the market makes its demand more elastic. If the price of a, such a good rises, people start purchasing its substitute. For example, if the price of uh, uh, Coca-Cola rises, people start using Pepsi. If the price of um, uh, rice rising, then people switch to the wheat. Okay. 
next one is the ability of the girl to postpone its use. Uh, the girl's whose demand can be deferred for some time as known as more elastic girl because these are highly responsive, uh, responsive to the change in their prices if the prices rise. Uh, consumers can wait for some time for example uh, tv radio furniture uh, for all those products and the next one is fashion habit and uh, attitude when someone uh, some commodity comes into fashion or form a part of habits and taste and uh, becomes less elastic or inelastic people do not care about its price and prefer its purchase even at a higher price okay so next one is jointly demanded girls and uh, the girls which are jointly demanded are less elastic as a rise or fall in their prices may not influence the demand largely unless the price of complementary girls also change for example uh, demand for cars and petrol hockey stick and ball and uh, a fall in the price of petrol will have a very minor effect unless the price of cars also fall okay so next one is the relative importance in household consumption uh, girls having a very little share in the household budget for example salt chilies etc are less elastic because a rise or fall in the prices do not upset the budget estimates at all uh, while the girls having a large share in the budget for example um, flour ghee uh, milk etc are more elastic girls okay so next one is the level of income income elasticity of demand for girls of rich people is very low because they demand according to their requirements uh, marginal utility of money for them is also very um, low on the other side income velocity of demand for poor is normally high uh, they immediately decrease their demand with the uh, falling income all right so here we end our lecture in today's let's preview of lecture uh, in today's lecture we learned about uh, the concept elasticity elasticity of demand we discuss uh, some kinds of uh, uh, demand according to its elasticity with the graphical representation and uh, we see the um, uh, overall graphical representation of all kinds of elasticity of demand in one graph and uh, now we also uh, know about uh, the concept of elasticity of demand number one is income elasticity of demand number two is cross elasticity of demand and um, after that uh, we discuss the some factors influencing the elasticity of demand hope now you have a better understanding about today's lecture uh, to Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to the lecture. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone around you. Uh, like the video, share it and uh, subscribe the channel. If you want to know about the other topics and videos about economics. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.